If you have 10,000 square feet of empty land to build anything you want, how would you start? My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seed. Today's episode, we will be featuring a lavish, extravagant three-storey bungalow that houses nine rooms and 13 bathrooms with a 10-metre long lap pool. Before we begin, if you're not subscribed to us yet, please support us by subscribing and click on the notification buzzer to stay tuned to more of our compelling episodes. This residence is located in Moi, a tourist locale that is well known for its historical pre-war buildings and scrumptious food. The 10,000 square feet built-up bungalow with 4,000 square feet of courtyard space property is designed by SLAB10, a design practice founded in Sydney, Australia with operations currently based in Malaysia. My name is Hal. Hi, I'm Jason Sim. I'm a co-founder co of SLAB10. SLAB10 was founded in Australia more than 10 years ago and we have been around in Malaysia for the last few years. Our philosophy is user-orientated. We believe good design can change people's way of living. Basically, the way that we execute uh, the concept of this design is uh, like sculpting spaces from generally a cube. So we do carve out spaces and when we carve out these spaces, we study the relativity of the space with the surrounding. Our spaces are sculpted in such a way that uh, they are able to spill out seamlessly from inside to outside for the ground floor. For the upper floor, the emphasis is to look down within the building compound. The pool is located in the heart of the house. As you walk around experiencing the house, you have a good view of the pool from the ground floor all the way up to the upper floor. As you enter the door, on your left hand side, you see the living area, the pool, the dining area, and the dry kitchen that forms the total common area. On your right hand side, where you have the semi-private area, which is the family room, the guest room, and the powder room, and also the beautiful stair leads up to first floor. The application of glass curtains for the living and dining area allows for a full open concept and when it's closed, it would contain the air condition and yet have a clear full view of the beautiful landscape design. Another fascinating feature when the glass curtains are wide open is that the difference of floor materials highlights the individual spaces as a staging of a classy distinctive space of its own. The extended aluminium louver divider creates a distinctive feature that complements the courtyard's spatial quality, creating a view on its own and at the same time functions as a sunshading device and improves cross-ventilation. The owners enjoy hosting guests, so the brief is to have a large common area that could accommodate lots of guests in the house. For the dry kitchen and dining area, we feature a 10 feet large dining table which could host 10 people. The dry kitchen island is certainly a statement. A mock-up scale model needed to be done with multiple attempts of re-corrected drawings to ensure that the contractors could envision the same outcome as the designers. There is only a handful of skilled professionals who were willing to take up such challenges. The Dry Kitchen Island is, consists of 48 slabs of marbles stacking on top of each other, are all cut individually with irregular shape that together that forms an organic shape of this statement piece. To complement the island, we need something really sleek and clean as a backdrop. The cabinet is using a special finished glass. With the stretch of the cabinet, it hides a door to the wet kitchen, a concealed fridge, and also two mini bars. 
clients enjoy cooking themselves, and their request was to have a state-of-the-art functional kitchen that could chef meals for a family of their size. The designers funneled the idea of creating a customized industrial hood in a semicircular form that spans across the entire wet kitchen, creating a delighting surprise with high ceiling volume for the owners to enhance their cooking experience. Guest room is packed with lots of practical designs. As the clients brave, we have extended family member come and stay over, which we need to host extra space for kids. So therefore, we have the foldable bench seat, and also the basin and dressing table with the dressing chair pulled out from the cabinet below, and also the sliding mirror that adds as basin mirror and also a dressing mirror. When a house of this size throws a party, the powder room would definitely be a necessity to visit. And like we've mentioned in most of our previous videos, the powder room should not be undermined. The designers from SLAP10 indeed brought the detailings of this powder room to a whole new level. With dark granite wrapping the entire space, creating a galaxy of darkness, a centerpiece standing wash basin in Audix finish creates an outstanding glow to this powder room. In addition to that, an organic sculptured ceiling in timber veneer finish forms as a cloud to the space which improves the acoustic to the mesmerizing space. The whole theme of the family room is to stay very natural. We want people to feel very comfortable as well as feeling very airy and light inside the family room. We use lots of roll materials such as the roll stone walls, the roll tan screen that covers the kitchenette, and also a lot of natural wood loose furniture. At the back of the sofa, you can see timber shutter that has a dual function as a feature wall which lit up at night time as well as a main feature lighting in the family area. Behind this majestic plush bungalow lies a heartwarming story of a multi-generational family and how it concludes to building such a meaningful home. But 於是我們就對浩旺提起擔任這間屋子的設計師的要求,他也很爽快的答應了,然後才有這間的屋子。There are two master bedroom in this house. One is master bedroom, one is a junior master bedroom. Grandmaster suite is a design for mature owners who appreciate grand and timeless design. During the planning stage, we try to break the rules of conventional bedroom and bathroom typology and introduce rather a recreational space into the suite. We want this suite to be a retreat for the owner to unwind and relax. All doors are auto motorized doors. Not just for the design outlook, it's also taken into consideration for easy access for age owners. Once we step in, a classical marble floor pattern set out the key for this master suite design. Blue is the essence color for this area. The blue moon artwork catches your eyes when you first enter the suite. Then the warm timber feature wall that conceals the access to the sleeping area. A massage reading corner with timber dawn feature 
that is perfect to read a book or for an afternoon nap. The powder room is located next to it, so it's easy access for the sleeping area and for the visiting guests. The key star of this suite would definitely be the bath area. It's like a spa retreat. An oversized jacuzzi with book matching marble feature wall all tells you this is not your ordinary bathroom. The close set feature, a titanium ceiling, highlights the ceiling volume and also gives you a different dimension. Sleeping area feature 180 degree panoramic view, where three size windows offer you a great cross ventilation and view to the pool, the horizon, and the semi outdoor lounge area. The semi outdoor lounge area is built with motorized louvers that provides weather protection and privacy control. Junior Master Suite. In comparison with the Grand Master Suite, the Junior Master Suite is presented in a way is more vibrant and fresh. Essence of colors are decorated with a whitewash backdrop. To break the box, we have lots of irregular shapes elements such as mirror, carpets, cabinet doors, bathroom feature walls, and headboards. We wanted the living space to feel as much airy and spacious as we can. We set the common space to the left side with large window openings to the pool and keep all the private area to the left. Sleeping area has a private semi-outdoor garden that weather controlled by the motorized loopers. Operable pivot doors panels that separate the sleeping area from the common area where when it's open, it connects three areas as one big space and allow plenty of natural cross ventilation. Designs continue through the bathroom area. Where a grand night curve wall feature wrap around the shower and bathtub area. The bold selection of marble finish throughout the property is astounding. Highlighted with different marble finish exuding its unique character for each space. The staircase, for example, is furnished in the marble application that parades a glorious impact that leads the trail of the stairway from the ground floor all the way to the third floor. With intricate detailing of the side walls in timber veneer finish and mirror in the center to give a larger impression of the staircase also complements the book matching outcome of the marble design. For the common area marble, we fell in love with this special Italian marble that has this grayish but translucent to the marble that gives a depth to the floor. As we enter the entertainment room, first you'll be greeted with the long, beautiful marble island that has a wine display with book matching marble at the background. All walls are cladded with fabric and sponge with golden trim. That is to improve the acoustic in this room. The gym room, once you open the curtain, you can enjoy the sunset while you're working out. With the sculpted spaces, the pocket of spaces that we create around the house, it makes the experience very different. It feels like outside, it feels like inside. Although 
，既可以是室内，也可以是室外。在每一次邀请亲朋好友来家里聚会的时候，不管是室内或者是室外，每一次都会发现这个屋子的各个角落都有新的发掘和体验，所以我非常期待在这间家未来的生活和体验。I have to agree with what the owner shared about the home being ever-changing. The beauty of this luxurious abode is about its endless possibilities. In generations to come, day by day, a new discovery of how this property adapts to the family's lifestyle will always be evolving. And that's the beauty of design and architecture. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Scene. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to us and stay in the loop of more compelling episodes. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Please support us and let us grow the design scene together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week.